Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today, this is gonna be a bit of a whew, stressful video. As you can see, I'm wearing comfortable, not, not stressful, but like I'm wearing comfortable clothing because I am about to tr try on some Spanx for you guys. So today's video is really gonna be how to dress your Spanx. And I know there's a lot of misconceptions about Spanx. I did do a video talking about Spanx, so I will leave it up here so you guys can check that video out. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to dress it, what looks good, and the types of Spanx that I have, that I use, that you can't even tell that you're wearing Spanx, and that really worked for me and my body type and what I prefer and what I like. So before I get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome and please subscribe. So let's get right into this video. Okay guys, so I have four different types of Spanx that I'm going to try on for you guys. And they all serve different purposes. Actually, they don't all serve different purposes. They could literally, you could wear all of these Spanx for any sort of purpose, occasion, outfit, whatever you like, you could definitely wear these types of Spanx. So I have two that are more of a lighter weight control. So these ones here basically just smooth you out and hold you in a very tiny bit. These ones here are also a light control as well, um, but they are much firmer than this one. As you could tell, I do like light controls. Um, I don't like heavy controls just because like it's too much and then you end up sweating like really 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 sweating like when I tell you dripless down your back dripless down your armpits dripless at the side of your forehead like it is intense when you wear the heavier ones because it just holds you in a lot more and it's just a little bit more constricting in my opinion um, although I have some belly edges regions that need working um i don't need to the need to feel like i'm suffocating in anything i still want to be comfortable in my skin regardless of if i want to wear a spanx or not also spanx are also designed to just smooth you out and hold you in a very little bit people have this idea that it's supposed to bring you down a dress size or it's supposed to like snatch you and snitch you and cinch you in no, it's really meant to just make you look good underneath all your clothing. So this, this is why I'm doing this video so you guys can get an idea and see how these really work. So I have two Spanx here. Uh, so this is actually Spanx from the Spanx brand. These are Spanx as well, but this is from the brand Body Wrap. So I will link that in the description below. This is actually my favorite, and I will tell you guys why once I put it on. So I'm gonna stop talking, and we're just going, I'm just gonna show you what they look like with clothes on. Okay guys, so these are the first pair that I have. These ones are a light control. These sit at your natural waistline. I'm sorry if you could see my underwear underneath this. I'm so sorry. I wasn't gonna go commando in Spanx, which you should do, by the way. These are meant to be worn as underwear, but for the purpose of this video, I got an underwear on because I'm not trying to, we're not doing that today. So, this is meant to give you a little bit of control. So as you can see, I don't know if you could see that much from the side but it holds me in a little bit it doesn't give me like you know there's some spanks that kind of like like hold you in tight like this um but i prefer the lighter control just because i want to still feel like i i can breathe I, I feel very confident in the lighter ones i don't know why but it just does something to me and it makes me feel really really good so this is what this one looks like and the another reason why I really like these ones is because they come down longer on the legs so for the Spanx brand they always sit right here which is at your mid thigh whereas these ones go much longer sometimes they even hit you right at your knee which I like because I am a thicker girl with hips and all that good stuff. So I need something to come down long that's not gonna cut me off when I wear different pieces of clothing. So I'm gonna put a skirt on to show you what this looks like with a skirt. Okay, so this is what the Spanx look like with a skirt on. As you can see, you really can't see the line of the legs if you're standing like this. You can't really see it. I mean, if you walk, 
you'll probably see it, but who the heck cares? A lot of us girls wear shorts underneath our dresses and skirts anyways because we are not about that taping life. So it's really not that big of an issue, but as you can see, you can still see, you know, my little imperfection area. And as I turn to the side, you can still see it, but it's a little bit flatter. It still looks decent, but it's not super like crazy. And I'm not even sucking in my stomach. I'm not doing anything like that. But you can see just how this looks and how it smooths me out underneath. So it really looks really, really good. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna show you what it looks like without the Spanx on. Okay, so this is it without the Spanx on. So you can still, you can see, it's not as smooth as it should be. You can see my panty lines. You can like really like see all the rollage of my belly, you know? So it really doesn't smooth you out and hold you in, obviously, when you're not wearing it. But that's why I like to wear it because it smooths me out. It gives me a nice finish underneath my clothes um, instead of this kind of like bulgy situation. Or if some of you women have you know, cellulite in your bum or your thighs, and you know, you want it to kind of cover that out or smooth it out. Spanx is like honestly the best thing I ever, literally, ever created, and I really do love it. So, this is the difference, obviously, without the Spanx on. All right, guys, so this is the high waisted version of the ones that I previously showed you. These ones, I'm not gonna lie. Took me a minute to get into these ones. Lord. These ones seem to be a lot more firm. I think it's because I don't wear this one often. I think I've only worn this one once. And the reason why I don't wear high waisted that often is because I'm sh I have a short to torso. So if you have a short torso, you really don't need high waisted because then it becomes extra, extra, extra long for no reason. And then it kind of starts to roll a little bit because of that. So if you have a longer torso, then yes, high waisted is perfect. It's gonna sit perfectly as well as natural waisted. But if you have a short torso like myself, you're good with just wearing the natural waisted ones because they, they will come up very high as you guys saw. But this is the high waisted version of the regular waisted one. And it does the exact same thing. It has, I, I don't know, you guys probably can't see because it's black, but it has a paneling here just so that it has a little bit more tummy control here and it smooths you out everywhere else. These thin ones are really good to wear literally with anything. You can wear them with leggings. I tested this out and I wore them with a pair of leggings and you couldn't even see the... Um, line at all. I would put on a pair of black leggings, but you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see like you would not be able to see through the camera So I'm gonna put on a pair of jeans just to show you that this if you're someone who likes You know this kind of coverage um, But you wear jeans and t-shirts and stuff I'm gonna put on a pair of jeans just to show you that you will not see a single thing Okay, so here I have them all with a pair of jeans. So jeans and a t-shirt. There you go. It'll smooth you out. It will make you look really, really nice. It'll smooth you out. It'll do what it needs to do. It'll look super, super cute wearing it. It still will make your butt look really nice. It doesn't just like deform or deshape your, your butt in any way because the Spanx are designed not to have any control in the butt area. So it allows for any give in that region. So this is, I'm already out of breath in this high-waisted one. This is why I don't wear this one. It's like, it, it's like too much. Um, because of the material of this, when putting on jeans, it does tend to roll a little bit in the inside. So you'll have to kind of go in and kind of fix it a little bit. So I try my best to fix it as best as I really could. Um, but you still can see a little bit of a line. Um, but if you can get that line straightened out, then you won't have to worry about that. But even with it being rolled a little bit, you really don't even see it that much. Um, or let me know in the comments if you do, if you can really see it. But you can still wear it with jeans if you like. I also wanted to show you what it looks like with trouser pants or like even floaty, like loose pants. You can't even see it. As I said, only if you take a step and you walk, then maybe you'll start, you'll see that line a little bit. But you really don't see it, you don't see it under your clothes. 
and it will make you look nice and seamless and holds you in. All right guys, so for the last pair of Spanx I have, I wanted to come on with this ivory dress again because I feel like this is a perfect dress to show you what the before and after would look like. So the next, I'm gonna show you what the, bot, what the Spanx looks like, but I just want you guys to see what I look like right now without wearing this last piece on. As you guys saw, it's a little bit rolly edge. It's not even, it's not smooth. You got the little, you got the little baby pouch right here. You can see all my underwear, everything. All right guys, so this here is the body wrap under bust body suit. This one here, once again, is in the light version. This is not the super firm version, but this is the light version because as I said, I prefer the lights better. And I love this brand. Let me say it again, Body Wrap. Love this brand. Look at how long these are. I wasn't lying to you guys when I told you that this brand comes long and this brand comes down to your knees. Especially if you are a thicker girl, you got hips and you got butt and you got thighs and hips and legs and, and, and toes and crumbs. Like you want something that is going to come down long enough that it doesn't cut you off in the wrong place and make you look like, girl, mm, I see your spanks. You know what I mean? So I love this. I love the fact that it comes up high here so it covers any little side rollage situations that we have. You know, it completely covers your back so it looks really nice and it's under bust, meaning that you can wear any neckline that you want and it, and, or any bra that you want and it will not show. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on with the dress. Okay, so this is what this looks like with the dress on. Um, I don't think this is the right cut of dress for this type of um, bodysuit because of where the bodysuit straps sit and where the actual dress straps sit. I'd have to wear, if I do wanna wear something, I have to wear something high-waisted, like the ones I just previously showed you, or the ones that sit at my natural waistline that I absolutely love. But I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like with a dress on. And although you can still see a little bit of my, you know, my rolls, I, I still wanna look like me. I still wanna show people that I am not these Instagram girls, that you know, I have a little bit of belly. That you know, I'm not, you know, go and have surgery every week, every month, just to keep my figure so that I can make money. This right here, as you can see, smooths me out. You can still see I saw the the, the rollage here, but it smooths me out everywhere in my butt area. It comes down long, so you don't even you don't even see it until you take a step and then you can kind of see it. But other than that, like you don't see it. I love that fact that it comes down really low so you don't you don't really see it. It doesn't cling to anything. It is a beautiful um, bodysuit and I absolutely love it. I would honestly wear it with this dress, but the way that these straps are sitting everywhere and just the way the dress is made, it's not gonna suit my purpose. So that's another thing. Uh, why it's good to invest in many different ones because of the fact that some will work with all cuts of dresses, all cuts of jeans or skirts or you know anything so it's good to have a variety so you're like okay yeah I, I have this, it's a little bit tighter, I know what I can wear with that or no it's not going to work out with this or whatever so it's good to have a variety. I have quite a few. I even have a high-waisted, super firm thong one that I barely wear because it like cuts me in the wrong areas and it just doesn't look good. And I have another really firm one as well, but I do really like the light. So yeah, this is what this looks like with the Spanx control on. Can you see the difference? 
Like, the difference is ridiculous. Like, I feel so sexy. I feel so confident. I don't feel like anything is going to bulge out. And this is me wearing it with my underwears. Like, once I take off my underwears, because wearing your underwear creates an extra bulge, an extra layer that it doesn't need to. And these are designed to have a cotton gusset, so you can wear it without underwear. And I also tell women to also, you could wear, you could put a panty liner in there if you feel uncomfortable. But it's yours. Like, it belongs to you. It's meant to be worn as underwear, so wear it as such. So yeah, this is really how to dress your Spanx in many different ways. Um, I tried on different pieces just to show you what they look like. But honestly, Spanx are designed to be worn with everything. You can really wear them with everything. You can make them, you can't make them into anything, but like, they're really good, versatile pieces. And I always suggest people, if you're going to go with a bodysuit, get a bodysuit that has legs so that you can um, wear it with multiple things instead of only wearing it with one thing. So they do have dress slips, and I always tell people, well, why get the dress slip when you can get the legs and you can wear it with multiple things? Because buying Spanx or buying any control garment is an investment, they are expensive. So if you are, you wanna get your money's worth out of it, and I always suggest buying um, garments that um, have legs or like a panty style or anything like that are the best options. So yeah guys, that is really it. I hope this video was informative. I hope it really helped you guys get an idea of like what Spanx is like and really how to dress your Spanx. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything, leave it in the description and I will definitely get around to answering them for you. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe and I will catch you guys in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.